Hi everyone, so I had a quick request saying how do I build the LEGO scale electric cars so I thought what I'd do is just take a couple of parts just so you can see kind of what's inside so uh, the white little Land Rover that you can see here is basically just two white Technic bars with the axles on that just a free spinning axle this one back axle obviously got a gear tooth on there and then basically if we have a look inside this one, this one's powered with just a straightforward black 12 volt Lego motor. So we have in this one a standard black 12 volt motor, like so, with a small pinion gear on it, just simply connecting to that cog in there. So nothing too clever at all on that one. Standard Lego connector on the end of the wire, and a standard 12 volt Lego motor. These are a little bit more expensive but you can buy them from Bricklink and then obviously the, the standard pinion you can see there a bit of the white of the Lego has rubbed off as it's been racing round and round. Okay so that's the little white Land Rover. If we have a look at the van, uh, this one's slightly different. So basically what I've done underneath this one is I've obviously got two smaller bars, again three running wheels on the front there and the same cog there, the same larger cog same tyres, these are the hard rubber tyres, I've also used these softer tyres uh, which are a little bit different, they actually have much better grip on the Lego track uh, but they're a little bit too wide so I've stuck with these slightly harder tyres and then the difference with this one now is that what we've got inside is we've now got a, a USB 12 volt cigarette adapter of the kind that you can use to connect up to your mobile phone, this kind of thing, in the car. And I have a look in my little bag of parts over here. You can see what we've got. So basically what I've done is, using eBay, bought something like this as an example. Just standard plug-in type. I've taken it apart. These ones work particularly well because it's got a little screw thread in the end. And then using this, we have here this inside. So I've wired the 12 volt feed to the two terminals on the front and then on the back I'm using the two outermost prongs on the USB and if you google this you can see how to do this but basically where the USB adapter fits onto the board just use the two outer prongs again that's wired to a four and a half volt motor same as in the Land Rover and then basically to actually make the pickup on the bottom I use a standard Lego brick uh, and simply drill a hole in it. So this is a, a, a 2 by 8 Lego brick with a hole through that end pinion. This is standard Lego pickup braid. Just push it through. You don't need to particularly hold fast because obviously the weight of the car presses down and wire it up. So we have positive and negative from the Lego pickup. That goes through a hole through the 2 by 8 brick. 2 by 4 brick, sorry into the USB adapter on the front prongs there and then it comes off the two prongs, two outermost prongs at the back. Now what I did find when I was wiring this up is that you need to feed the right positive and negative onto these terminals here but the easiest thing to do is wire up the motor before you put it into the vehicle try it on the track and then if you need to you can swap around positive and negative on these terminals and these just push in. These are standard scale electric kit. So that's basically all there is to it put the motors in and away you go. That 12 volt motor is the black one fed from the scale electric pickup you don't need any extra equipment on that, that's just a standard bit of wire going from the scale electric pickup straight to the 12 volt motor. Don't have to worry about positive and negative but these are a little bit harder to find and the 4.5 volt motors are much cheaper but in this way I've just wired up one of these little USB adapters. So there you go, I'll try and do a bit of a better video when it's not quite so dark but as an interim, I hope that helps. Okay, thank you for watching.